NC State Wolfpack. North Carolina State, 9-4 and four last year, 5-3 and three in conference. They returned four starters on offense, eight on defense. Experience returning, it's not good. No, they lose a lot. Number 13 in the conference, number 121 in the country. Whew. Over under 7.5 to go over the juice is plus 120 to go under it's minus 140. These lines, by the way, are the early lines. Obviously, some of these have changed. Oh, yeah. But, and they're um, going to continue to change continue all the way up until kickoff on So these these August. were the opening lines at, I think, Caesars. I think they were the first ones that really put it out. Um, so Dave Doran, 43 and 34 in six years. He has had 13 players drafted in the NFL in the last two years. He has turned Raleigh into one of the uh, loudest stadiums in the ACC, and he should absolutely be given credit for that. Oh, yeah. That fan base is all in on this team. They're replacing their offensive coordinator, their quarterback, the primary running back. It's tough. Uh, they've got all new starting receivers. They've got three new starters on the offensive line. Uh, that's not good. Last year, they had the number 108 passing defense, but they returned five starters in the secondary. The good news is they're not as young as they were last year. Injuries kind of kind of caused all that. Uh, recruiting has gone well for the defensive line and linebackers, but they may need time to develop. Uh, here's the deal, though. Dave Doran, he has been able to find some of those diamonds in the rough, and develop them up. And he has been working on some of these guys in the background, but they have not gotten to play a lot. That's right. So they've got some talent there. Uh, kicker Chris Dunn, 23 out of 26 on field goals. Last year, he is absolutely reliable. That's always good when you've got an inexperienced team and you just need to find a way to put points up. That's right. Uh, the and schedule, close games. I, if you look at teams that play one-possession games, yeah. usually the team with a better kicker has a better Typically record wins. in those games. Yeah. Uh, the schedule favorable. The ceiling is probably six or seven wins this year. Like, next year is going to be the year for them. And I've said that about some like some of these teams. Mm-hmm. But this is one of them where this year will be spent developing. And if you can have a season where the floor is probably, you know, five wins and the ceiling is like seven, well, I've got them at six and six. I okay. mean, i got them beating East Carolina and Western Carolina. I've got them losing at West Virginia. I got a win over Ball State and then a loss at Florida State, uh, loss to Syracuse, loss at Boston College, loss at Wake Forest, loss to Clemson. But then I've got them winning the last three. I got a win over Louisville at Georgia Tech and North Carolina. So three and five in the conference, and I think that's a pretty good year this year. I do too. I got them seven and five. Do, do you know who he reminds me of, head coach? I would love to know. I don't want to call him a poor man's disc because I think he's almost exactly the same. I think he's a lot like Dan Mullen. Dan takes three-star talent yeah. and puts them in the NFL a lot. Yeah, I can see that. A lot. What he did at Mississippi State was really impressive. And a lot, most of these guys that, that have gone to the league, they were not five-star blue chips. Yeah. And, and man, that's a valuable, valuable thing to be able to do. It's kind of amazing. It, it's, it always impresses me. So it's one of the reasons I really wanted to go eight and four. I think... They just got a little bit more learn to do, and there's going to be some parity in in the uh, in the ACC. So I've got them seven and five, one game better. 